Suppose I need to rush some urgently needed supplies across town at rush hour. I don't look forward to the drive, fighting traffic congestion and worrying about safety at the end of a long day. Fortunately, I have a 1997 model NavLab 6 computer controlled car. I hop in, fire up the engine, and it automatically starts its computers and sensors. The NavLab 6 comes equipped with a variety of sensors to see the road, traffic, and obstacles around it. It has a radar buried in the front bumper, a miniature TV camera mounted behind the rear view mirror, a GPS satellite positioning antenna on the roof, a LADAR to look for traffic behind and in adjacent lanes, and sensors for vehicle speed and heading. I check the built-in touch screen to make sure the system is functioning and start my journey. Manual control. As I drive along, I turn on the intelligent cruise control and the NavLab 6 keeps a safe distance from the car ahead automatically. The computer systems are constantly watching the road and its surroundings. Ralph, the vision system, tracks the road by looking for lane markings and any other features which are high contrast and parallel to the road, such as shoulder edges or pavement joints. Ralph has already driven over 40,000 autonomous miles, including a cross-country trip from Washington, D.C. to San Diego, California. The radar on the NavLab is an advanced model. Unlike most automotive radars, which only measure range to other vehicles, this radar can also measure relative speed and bearing. When the computer puts together the road location from Ralph with the target locations from the radar, it can determine if another vehicle is in its own lane, the next lane, or on the shoulder, even when the road is curving. As I drive along, I start to get drowsy from a long day at work. I begin to nod off and start to steer off the road. Fortunately, Ralph sees what I'm doing, sounds an alarm, and nudges the wheel back in the right direction. When I hit the interstate, I switch the NavLab into autonomous mode. Automated control on. Now I can relax and catch up on my email while the NavLab handles all the driving. It is constantly monitoring the position of other vehicles around me and keeping an internal model of what they might do and how it needs to maneuver for safe, defensive driving. When a manually driven vehicle comes up quickly, my car sends an alert, high speed vehicle approaching, checks for open space, and changes lanes to let the tailgater by. Changing to right lane. This NavLab is tough. It should be. Its father is an active duty Army scout, the NavLab 2. The NavLab 2 spends its days driving cross-country using the same kinds of positioning, 3D sensing, and obstacle detection to find its way along rough terrain and dirt roads. Grandfather was the NavLab 1, built in 1986, which even in its prime had to lug around a million dollars of equipment and could still only move at walking speeds. Now the younger generation runs everything on standard PCs buried in the trunk and powered through the cigarette lighter and has a top speed well in excess of the national speed limit. As we travel, the NavLab 6 detects other smart cars and buses. Since those vehicles drive more predictably and communicate with each other by radio, the NavLab can close up the gaps with those vehicles. Squeezing the vehicles together more tightly has really opened up the highways, and there is much less congestion than there used to be and much less pollution due to idling and stop traffic, all without building more lanes. I can count on getting where I need to go and getting there on time. As the NavLab drives around a curve, its radar sees an obstacle, and the vision system correctly detects that the obstacle is in its own lane. The vehicle checks its vision system to see where the next lane is, checks its side and rear sensors to make sure the lane is clear, and slides over to change lanes. It also radios a warning to following automated vehicles so they can make a safe maneuver before they even see the obstacle. I get to my exit, the NavLab signals me, and I take back control and pull off the freeway. I'm relaxed, rested, and above all, safe. And I'm just in time for the party.